Hey everyone, I'm Claudius, head of domains here at Hostinger and a few months ago we released the Hostinger MCP server. And if you are following Hostinger Academy video, you have already seen what it can do with VPS and WordPress management. But today I want to show you how we can use it for domain management too. Let me start by showing you how domain management typically works in HPanel today. Don't get me wrong, we have put a lot of hard work into making this interface clean and functional, but I want you to track the steps as we go through this. So let's jump in. So now, if you're looking for a new domain, you typically have to go into HPanel, search for get a new domain, and then enter the domain you want to purchase. And this time, I will go for hmcp.net. And you see, we have many different options, many different TLDs, and I have just to click by now, select years, make a purchase, and boom, the domain is registered. But I want to forward it to a different website because maybe I'm not sure uh, what I'm gonna do with, with this website yet. So let's try and uh, use our domain forwarding feature. Let's redirect it to LinkedIn. Everything works perfectly, but each task requires knowing where to find each feature, filling out forms, navigating between different sections. It's functional, but not exactly conversational. Now, let me show you what happens when domain management becomes conversation. So now we have connected our hosting or MCP server to Claude desktop. And uh, let's begin with listing the domain names that I own. List all the domain names that I own. So now what happens? Claude desktop connects to our MCP server and gathers the data about my domains and when we are expiring, for example. Uh, but you can see uh, Claude Desktop not only have listed all the domains that I own, including expiry dates, but suggested that I should pay attention to two domains which already expired. But let's see what else Claude can do. And this time, I think I'm gonna look for a fashion brand uh, domain name which would be suitable for Gen Z customers. And you can check the prompt that I am entering now. And let's see what kind of result does Claude uh, come up with. In the background, uh, Claude connects to our billing system, collects the prices, checks the main availability as well, which is not typical for typical uh, chatbots or chats like OpenAI because we don't have connections to the registry services. As you can see, Claude just doesn't execute the commands. It also provides strategic insights, explain applications of choices, and handles complex multi-step tasks. Let's try and purchase the domain. So in this case, I selected vibeecho.shop because I think it suits the Gen Z and uh, it would suit my fashion brand that I have in mind. So let's try to purchase webecho.shop. And as you can see, all the actions I've written, Claude lets you know what actions are being taken on your behalf, and uh, boom, the domain has been purchased. Simple as that, conversation alone. And you remember the steps I took in HPanel? To forward the domain, I had to navigate through different pages. I would, I would need to know where the domain redirect function is, but here, I can just simply type, I want to forward this domain to my Etsy shop, for instance, and it will do that. And that's it. Domain has been forwarded by simply typing what I want to do. Pretty cool, right? And I might know what you are thinking, Claudius, not everyone wants to set up Claude Desktop just for domain management. And that's why. I'm very happy to say that we are bringing all of this AI power directly into HPanel through Cody, our personal assistant. Cody is already available in HPanel for domain assistance. And after seeing what's possible with conversational domain management, we are rapidly expanding its capabilities. The goal is to bring the full conversational domain management experience right into your dashboard. No external tools needed. Here is what it can do right now. So remember, I forwarded the domain previously through typical HPanel flow and through Claude. 
but I can do the same in Kodi as well. I just need to type the domain I want to forward and write forward it to your desired destination. In this case, I think I'm gonna just redirect my surname yanuitas.eu to my LinkedIn profile. And let's see how Kodi will handle it. And that's it, domain has been forwarded. Let's see what else I can do with Kodi. Maybe let's check the renewal status of specific domain name. And as you can see, Kodi just uh, returned the renewal status for this domain and we can clearly see that it's auto renewal disabled but I would recommend to turn on auto renewal for all of your domains just to make sure they are active. And yeah, because this transaction requires a confirmation from Kodi, I just type confirm and that's it. Auto renewal status has been turned on. As you can see, simple tasks like forwarding, turning on auto renewal works perfectly like in the dashboard. But I wanted to show you one thing which is not yet available in our H panel is multi-domain search. Let me show you how I can perform bulk domain search with the help of Kodi. I want to check the availability of these three domain names. Let Kodi think for a bit and boom. As we can see, two of them are already taken and one has been recently registered by me. It's that simple. So we have seen both options in action and you might be wondering, which one should I use? Here is how I think about it. If you are managing domains regularly and want everything in one place, Kodi in HPanel is perfect because you already logged in into HPanel anyway, so why not have AI help right there? No setup, no switching between tools, easy. But if you often use Claude Desktop for your daily tasks, it can give you those advanced conversational capabilities and the cool thing is that both use the same hosting and MCP technology. So you are getting intelligent domain management either way. It's just about what fits your workflow better. The MCP server is available today. I have put the GitHub link and setup guide in description below. And honestly, once you experience conversational domain management, the old click through forms approach feels pretty outdated and we are just getting started with what's possible here. Make sure to drop a comment on what do you think about this feature. If you missed our previous MCP videos showing VPS and WordPress management, I suggest you watch those next. And hey, if you want to stay updated on all the new AI features we are rolling out at Hostinger, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. We've got some exciting stuff coming that you don't want to miss. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.